are they here to cancel vitamin C because the results are resulting. After I'm done recording this video, it's already going to be in my cart. Hi guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about copper peptides. Are they here to cancel vitamin C? Are they here to replace vitamin K? And other firmness, elasticity ingredients that we're used to because the results are resulting. Okay, so hang tight, sit down, and let's talk about copper peptides. Copper is naturally found in the body. It actually helps in the synthesis of tyroxine, which if you guys know, because you attend April Bassey University, you know that tyroxine is a key ingredient that's used in melanogenesis. It's basically the enzyme that helps in the production of more melanin. So we all need tyroxine. Copper peptide is basically copper that's bounded to three different types of peptides. So medically, you see it as copper tripeptide or GHK copper. Some benefits of copper tripeptide is increases skin firmness by helping to synthesize elastin in the skin, which helps reduce skin sagging as we get older. It helps encourage the skin to thicken and become a lot firmer. Basically, they help support skin fibroblasts and skin repair. Copper peptides have been shown to improve skin tone by helping to remove damaged and pigmented cells to form new healthy cells. They also help in reducing fine lines and wrinkles by increasing the amount of collagen that's in our bodies. Because the older we get, collagen is not produced as fast. So copper peptides help synthesize more collagen in the skin. Some studies have actually seen that it helps increase the amount of hyaluronic acid in the skin. Proteins help to build back collagen and increase skin elasticity. A study done back in 2002 actually showed copper peptides after 30 days to reduce visible signs of aging while also improving skin elasticity. Another study done back in 2018 showed that copper peptides when used on the thigh actually help to thicken the area and improve elasticity in 70% of the women using it as a poor to 50% of women using vitamin C and 40% using tretinoin. So copper peptides, let me find out. I've been missing out, okay? Because trust me, after I'm done recording this video, it's already going to be in my cart. There's also been studies that have shown copper peptides to help reduce scarring, age spots, and stretch marks. She might be the new it girl. Now copper peptides have been shown to be better on people who have sensitive skin. So if you feel like vitamin C is too much for you, your skin can't handle it, or even retinoic acid, this might actually be the best bet for you. It's been shown to have not much of a drawback and be really gentle and sensitive skin. Now all of these benefits sound just like vitamin C, right? However, you cannot use copper peptides with vitamin C because it will oxidize and cancel out vitamin C. You also can use it with retinoic acid, with AHAs like glycolic acid, or even kojic acid because it all kind of works in the same pathway. So make sure if you're going to use copper peptides not to use it with those ingredients. I think I'm going to invest in the ordinary copper peptides just to see how it acts and I'll probably report back in about a month or so if I'm loving it. But let me know if you guys have tried copper peptides. Would you guys invest? Am I missing out? Give me the tea, okay? Let me know what you guys think about copper peptides, if it's worth the investment. I definitely trust your opinion because you guys are in the April Bass University, so let me know. And if not, we're going to be in this together. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up, a like the video, subscribe, join the family, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!